Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this episode, we're going to talk about a detailed three month study schedule that we've crafted for those preparing for the PE exam. Whether you're starting from scratch or you're looking to refine your approach, this guide will be your roadmap to success. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Now, this is not just a study plan. It's a blueprint for success designed to boost your confidence and readiness for the PE exam. Now, aim to invest between 80 to 100 hours over 12 weeks. The plan predominantly focuses on weekend studies, which allows you to maintain a steady pace without burning out. Throughout the week, engage in smaller, manageable tasks to keep your momentum going and your mind actively engaged with the material. We understand you're probably working at the same time as study. So let's break down this journey week by week. Weeks one through four, breath exam focus. The first month is all about getting a broad overview. Kick things off with an initial NCAAS practice exam. This step is crucial as it helps you to pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses right out of the gate and it allows you to create a baseline. So allocate four to six hours on a Saturday for taking the exam and then dedicate another four to six hours on Sunday to meticulously assess your performance and plan ahead. Categorize the breath subjects into tiers based on your proficiency in the practice exam results, which will allow you to tailor your study and focus more effectively. Then over the next four weeks, prepare for the breath section based on your need. Weeks five through 10, depth exam focus. Now we shift gears to concentrate on the depth portion of the exam. This phase mirrors the first month's approach. Start with a timed depth practice exam to assess your understanding of more specialized topics that are in the depth portion. The weekends during this period should be dedicated to intensive study sessions targeting specific depth subjects. Again, categorize these topics into tiers methodically based on your strengths and try to improve on your weakest areas. Weeks 11 and 12, practice exam focus and ramp down. All right, as you approach the final stretch, it's time to put your knowledge and skills to the test. Take full length practice exams under conditions that mimic the actual test environment. That's important. This not only builds up your test taking stamina, but also solidifies your accumulated knowledge. In the final weekend leading up to the exam, prioritize rest and relaxation and ensure all your test day materials are prepared. This phase is as much about the mental preparation as it is academic readiness. General strategy and tips. A consistent theme in this journey is the philosophy that practice makes perfect. Focus on solving as many timed problems as possible. Equally important is the balance between reinforcing areas where you're strong and improving upon the weaker ones. Don't hesitate to use all available resources at your disposal, including tutorial videos and practice problem sets. These tools are designed to enhance your learning experience and prepare you thoroughly for the PE exam. So there you have it, a simple three month study plan to ace the PE exam. Practice on the breath portion for the first four weeks, starting with that timed exam. Then move on to the depth portion for four weeks, again starting with the timed exam. And then for the remainder, do your timed practice problems. Remember, the key to success is not just in following the plan, but also in adapting it to fit your personal learning style and life schedule. Stay disciplined, stay motivated, 
and let's conquer this PE exam together. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our great subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result and ultimately your engineering career as a whole. And please, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to them. Let me know if there's a specific topic you need me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week in Pass the PE exam. Thank you.